No, it was too convenient and easy. I hope, come on, step out of it. No. Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back. We're here with more Owl House. That's right. We watched the first episode and it was so flippin' cute and quirky and imaginative and so heartwarming. I cannot wait for us to check out more. So let's get straight into it. Before we get started, you know the vibes. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below to feed the algorithm quads. Check us out over on Patreon for early access to these reactions. Unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut. And check us out over on Twitch at AliciaXLife. Anyways, let's get it. It's a sleepy baby. I love her. She's all bean. She's a strawy all bean. Oh, at least he said good morning. Yeah, that's nice. Good morning, you little cutie pie. I am not your cutie pie. Yes, you are. <laughs> we need to give him a little cloudy, a little baby. I'll give him a little, 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 little tummy wubs. Get a little tummy wubs. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> okay, but crazy to do that. Hootie, that's all you. Hootie, that's hella on you. You cannot be pushing your face at the bathroom windows, okay? <laughs> Wish good morning somewhere else, motherfucker. Ain't no goddamn way. <laughs> Please have witchy clothes. Please have witchy clothes. Please have witchy clothes. Witchy clothes! Even multiple hats! Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Which apprentice lose? Look how cute she is! Remember me? Loose? Oh, damn! Okay. The blood of apples. <laughs> Teach me some spells. When do I get a magic staff? Was I supposed to bring my own runes? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it wasn't witch clothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had hopes for her too. <laughs> oh. Magic staff, huh? You really want one? Yeah. The staff is drunk as a bitch. It's trying. It's coming. D damn. <laughs> Wait, so is it going to be basically like homeschooling instead of her going to a little witchy school? For it. I run a few businesses. On weekends, I offer rare human treasures. Oh. Alright, that's cute as hell. That's cute as hell. To that town over there. You wanted a dangerous magical quest? Sister, you got one. I won't let you down, Nasida. Uh Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, let the baby baby fluffy boy go with yeah, but you have to go with her. Yeah! I just found the perfect spot. Why do I have to go? Because you're fluffy and adorable, and I love your little face. I love your little face. I love your little belly. I love your little belly. I love your 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 belly. I love 
Oh, he had a tantrum. He's your baby. Be back by nightfall or risk mortal peril. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> Not dog. Oh, oh. Actually, had a predetermined path of greatness. Damn, they put drugs in that, in that apple blood. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Little shot of hitting the crack pipe. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the crushing reality hits so quickly. It's like anybody trying to pursue their dream career and they still have to work the regular ass retail job at the same time. It's like, I will become a star! Uh, do you have your own bag, or do you want me to bag this for you? <laughs> like, that's the same vibe. It's the same vibe. God damn it. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> ha, good luck. The Boiling Isles is nothing but a cesspool of despair. And wants to buy a potion. This guy. I love her. <laughs> My eyes are down here. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I was like, that's crazy. My eyes are down here. How dare you be looking at my faceless face like that? Gross. <laughs> Ow, it's sucking. Day. I thought being the only human in a magical world would make me special, but. Oh my God. Oh, everything's sucking her down. Wizard. Sorry to break it to you, Luz, but no one here is that well dressed. This has been a rough day. No, this will change your mind. Come on. It's a castle! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Princesses? Oh. Kick the package inside and get out of here. Hello? Hey, wait! Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. He walked out in that same damn pose. <laughs> Wild. Today just got good. I think you should be careful of the stereotypes of wizards giving you quests. All right. <laughs> this motherfucker's wearing flip-flops. <laughs> okay. His stability is not the best, nor should we trust him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank thank you. <laughs> I'm young lady. Didn't I say I sent something unique about you? Please, won't you join me for tea? <laughs> True shit. <laughs> this little guy's spitting. I love him. <laughs> okay, that's me towards any nice character, though. Okay. Because I do this thing and everyone gets upset with me whenever I watch an anime and I see someone who's like too nice, I instantly don't trust them. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Why, why are you being this nice? Clearly there's something up with you, you little sussy bitch. And I think that every single time. It recently happened to this anime called Delicious in Dungeon. I'm watching it currently. And there's like one of the nicest little dwarf men ever and he's a total gem. And I did not trust him for at least the first three to four episodes. <laughs> I was like, he's too nice. Something has to be wrong. <laughs> I couldn't. It's who I am. <gasps> I see scones on the table. Where? 
I don't want to eat scones. Some more scones into my mouth. <laughs> yes, I'm surprised to see. <laughs> If you gave me an entire, like, three-hour video of just that little fluffy boy being adorable, I'd be happy. Like, that'd be good enough for me. <laughs> like, he just wants to eat his scones and, and be a little shit, okay? <laughs> uh, that's, like, that's something I can respect. Someone who's food-motivated and bitchy. That's a vibe. <laughs> Say great. What are you doing? Uh, that's like, oh, she, we literally, right before we left, said that everybody, you know, especially people who want to oppose her business, ain't fucking with her like that. And now you open it up to a random ass wizard who you've never met, and this is your first time meeting you know nothing about, and you gonna talk shit about your girl who's training you? It's day one, shoddy. Where the loyalty at? When I decided to stay in this magical world, I thought I was meant for something special. But Edith thinks I'm meant for chores and- It's one day! <laughs> she just wants you to earn your keep and learn responsibility! <laughs> huh? Tiny human? You did not come- to what? <laughs> you didn't let me finish. I have a question. Oh. Would you like to go on a quest? Yes! Thou hast come here for a reason. I don't trust it. I really don't trust it. Chosen <laughs> one can pull the star from its post. Chosen one. See, the thing about it is that, like, I love her so much, and her just like seeking out these things and being so ambitious and like she's just really excitable right you can't blame her she's a kid and she's excitable so the moment she sees like the generic ass wizard <laughs> with the with the adidas slides on purple edition she goes start believing <laughs> you know but uh, sometimes you gotta realize things are a little too convenient story. awesome anyway huh what should i be full of optimism and goodness like the good witch azura or should I be like a bad girl chosen one with <laughs> Honey, you are a bean. You are a cinnamon roll of a sweet girl. There is no shot you could be edgy, <laughs> okay? Your entire personality is going, wah! Because <laughs> you are such an excitable sweet girl. No shot. You could wear black nail polish though. You'll still look adorable, <laughs> but like. Girl. <laughs> Why? Your wizard client told Luce she was a <laughs> was a chosen one. Oh no. Okay, but to be fair, like, <laughs> they know she getting swindled, so they're laughing at it. But she's a baby, <laughs> you know? Oh, she's so, oh, my little sensitive bean. Oh, no. That's from the back of a cereal box, imagine. This map is bunk. There's no lake with a celestial staff on the boiling aisles. One. Oh! The path will only appear to the one worthy. Oh! Oh! 
you know what? I'm too much of a pessimistic person. I need to like have some optimism. I'm going to suspend my disbelief. I'm going to suspend my bullshit. But my first instinct, I kid you not, was maybe it's because you put it in the darkness and pulled it out again. So it's like a glow in the dark thing. It has nothing to do. <laughs> like, it's not actually you're the chosen one. It's just some glow in the dark bullshit, you know? That's my first instinct. And I was like, no, Alicia. Okay, maybe this sweet girl is the chosen one. How about... How about we reel that in a little bit? But... Uh, <laughs> God damn it. Only appear to the worthy. That's why Ida couldn't see it. But am I really worthy? Okay, listen, you are worthy of anything you put your mind to because you're sweet. But predetermined destinies and fates are what make you fabulous. What makes you fabulous is how you express yourself in a day-to-day -day scenario. I really think that map full of shit. But it's okay, Shawty. You keep living. Oh no! <laughs> I'll never know unless I try. Finally, all that mean-spirited laughter made me sleepy. <laughs> oh no, he's me when I roast chat. <laughs> when I start calling y'all idiots, <laughs> and then I'm like, "Oh, I'm so sleepy. I go take a nap." <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Luz. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Mommy said I ain't fucking with that for real. You better say yo shit or what. I ain't trying to solve this shit within a week. First mythical quest. Okay, baby girl. Got my scroll. Got my youthful optimism. Love that for you. I'm too old and jaded. Oh. Hey, at least it cuts vines. That's a positive. Hey, it's all a kit. I see. Oh no, a red flag, and she's a good bean. No, don't fall for the muscles and swagger. You're better than this. He's literally from a place called angst. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes, I did make the right choice. You did not. The scones. I mean, the wizard. <laughs> the scones. Oh, is it a bunch of maps that look like that? Yep. I really don't like this. Yep. Labyrinth. I was, I was just saying, I was right to be a mistrusted ass bitch. <laughs> this quest is questing in all the right ways. <laughs> Little furry man. Oh, Chris. Okay. That's it. You may cross the bridge. And please take this chosen one. It shall help you on your journey. Dang, we getting scammed so so fully. Oh no. 
She's so lost in the adventure sauce, she does not realize, hey, this seems kind of fucking weird. She's just too excited. To find your pupil and still your wrath, look ahead and follow the path. This place is not as magical and good as I thought it was. No! Thank you. You have all been so kind and thoughtful. I hope this quest. What? Oh my god. No, it was too convenient and easy. I hope, come on, snap out of it. No. No, my poor sleep baby girl. Oh, gloom and doom like Eden King said, there is wonder here and I, I think I came here for a reason. I think one thing I like about the show's message overall so far, like even including the first episode, is that it's not about being a special person or extraordinary person. It's about just being yourself. And that's kind of a beautiful notion. So I kind of like the fact that it's like, oh, this is all bullshit. Like she's not a chosen one. And that's kind of a better way of doing things rather than making her a special unique character. It's like, oh, no, she's just a regular ass girl. But she gets to be her own person, and she gets to accept herself, and that's a way better journey. I like that. It's a cool way to go with it. Yes! I am the chosen one! I knew it! I always suspected there was a reason nobody understood my wacky antics back then. Oh. Oh. And we're fucked. Oh, we got skamazed! Puppeteer, a demon who specializes in scamming and manipulating people. He's trying to use loose to get to me. Yeah. Well, someone's gotta get her. <laughs> Dang. Apprentice. <laughs> you know what? I fuck with that heavy. They're like, yeah, you thought you were so special. Your hubris got you. You had thought you had to be a chosen one. And that's the reason why you followed down this path. Oh. Everybody, you fool! Don't you see? I'm no wizard, and you're no chosen one. Yeah, oh. Getting customers from my potions business by That is, oh, they set it up so beautifully, too, because they specified that earlier in the episode, and I was like, oh, girl, why are you trusting this? They said that earlier in the episode, and they tie it all in together nicely. It's good, it's good. Yes. She must be you, because Ida isn't stupid enough to fall for your trap. And a guest. Oh, heck. <laughs> It's not that she's stupid enough, it's that she cares enough. Oh, the king! Ah, oh, the void. Stay with Adagast. We need you here. You could be our chosen one. Yeah, you can eat our time. Don't get absorbed into the monster. Do not get absorbed into the monster. No! Stop it! Yes! <laughs> I am a witch's apprentice. 
And I'm gonna earn my magic staff the hard way. Good! That's right! That's right! That's my girl learning! She's learning! <laughs> dang. All right, dang! <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Actually crazy line. <gasps> I should have listened to you and never trusted that wizard. You were right. He isn't mystical or magical. The only thing mystical and magical about him were his scones, damn it! <laughs> No! <laughs> oh, nice kick. Very nice kick. Carp stomp him. Well, that's the last time I take an outside referral. Calamari. Oh. The delicacy, don't worry, she eaten. Okay, you can look. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. <gasps> Ida, how did you know that uh. wizard was lying? Dude, I almost started tearing up. What's wrong with me? I started tearing up. No! <laughs> I love that so much. That's the shit I be saying. Oh, I said no because like my heart is like, I don't want to cry. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Staff of my own? Not yet, but someday. I think Kay's leaning and sleeping, you baby. Oh, God, this show is awesome. <laughs> Thanks for watching, YouTube. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye!